got the four in there. Okay, maybe they're not perfect. You can slow roll the six in the, in the pull down here if you want to. Or you can roll the five in. Aim for here. No, aim for this. You've got to miss that. Aim for this point. Uh -huh. Always aim. Always aim for the far jaw on it. If it goes inside that point, it will go in the pocket. If it touches this, it will not go in. Yeah. So when we're shooting to the middle pocket from an angle, we always aim just inside this point. We always aim here. We don't aim here. Okay. We aim here. Because it will go in there. Yeah. It will, if it flicks out, it probably won't go in. So we always aim to the, to the far jaw. And you see, we just got just inside the far jaw, and in it goes. If it normally, if it touches this point here, because it sticks out like that, Sometimes the cable slide just got people, it's normal they won't. That's perfect now. I'll show you everything now. That's a nice shot. Now what? Take your time. Good. Okay, let's finish them off. Come on. Think about it. What's the easiest way to run them out? I think you should have played the two ball then. If you'd have played the two ball from here, and you draw back to there, you've got the nine in the corner, you go forward from three or the one in the end. No, no, before, the last shot. Yeah, when you played the three ball, the last shot, uh -huh. I would have played the two and just tried to screw back to there for the straight nine, and also have the three in there. Uh -huh. Now you're going to go up here. You can play very, very shot, but I still think you're going to lose your cue ball to here. So maybe you have to go down and come back. I think you can play the one. I think you can play the one. And you can, I think you should. I think you should try to stun the cue ball over here and back out. <laughs> hey, what the ball is that? <laughs> if you follow, I think you go close to the corner. If you follow, I think you're going to go down here. But do you know this? If I, I, I use the salt, sometimes I cannot handle. Don't my say head. cannot. You're already telling me you can't do it. <laughs> Just try. I think we can. You're already saying you can't do it. So you have to get rid of that thought process from your head. So you can do it. You can do it. You're telling me you can't do it. Set up right, and they should go, they should all pass each other into the corners. Sorry, I didn't realize that. Okay, start again. Oh, why is this is so difficult? <laughs> well, it's good little it's good little practice for you. Because what we're doing here is we're just trying to do basic cue ball control. Because I, I see my weapon can be finished. You can finish it for sure. One hundred percent, you can finish this. But you have to think positive, you have to not let your mind think about those little negative thoughts. Forget those little negative thoughts. We've got a nice down six there. Again, think about how you position to have a choice. So for me now, you should put a six four and try to put the cue ball into here somewhere. Just play a little stop shot, play a stop shot technique and let the angle take the cue ball towards the middle of the table. Okay, you're nice to the seven. You're nice to the seven, maybe can you go forward? Can you roll forward for choice of eight or nine in this middle pocket? Maybe it's a bit, it's a bit. Or, see, why don't you just roll it in and come here? Just nice and slow. Stay still on your shot. Call shot and pop. Good. Okay, now what? Tell me what you're going to do. I want to know what you're going to do. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Wait. Where's the mic here? Like that? Why not? 
Right, stop, stop. Okay, and then keep it simple. Keep everything carried on. Where you put that shot? Well, where's the light? Right, it's somewhere here. Just play a little stop shot. A little draw shot. Keep it simple, no spin. How easy is that? You have to try to keep it as simple as you can. Okay, what are you going to do now? Tell me what you're going to do. Now tell me, don't do it, tell me. What do you think you should do here? Yeah, I think you can do that, but I think what you should do is you should play softly, slow roll, and just come here. Don't go all the way down here and back. You can play slow roll on the eight, come in here and have a choice of three or five. Nice and soft. I believe you can do it. Just go a little bit higher on the cube, but just roll it in. You're going to play a little, slightly, just like the centre cube. You see, soft, soft, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Not going to roll. Slow, like this. Slow roll. Just nice and soft. Slow roll, middle cue ball, just roll it in. three balls. Yeah, you're going to roll this in, you want to get straight on the two, stops on the two, five in the corner. Yeah. Okay, you're going to go quite close to the pocket, but let's just roll it in and get the people nice and towards here. It doesn't matter if you come here. You don't want to be here and have an angle on the two. So just roll it in. Not hard enough. Yours. 
Uh-huh. And mine will be better than this. So because you see things a little bit more clearly. Yeah. So what if you're playing it there, then what happens there is that technique becomes involved in how you do it. And you could end up going like this and you miss it because you really yeah, yeah, shot. Yeah, yeah. So uh if, if so that's why I say this ball is near the person. And the the, the well, if, if, the, if, the, if the object ball is near to the cushion and you have a lot of angle, it's much harder to, to work out where the ball will go. Because for that reason, because you don't have as much you don't have as much time before it goes to the cushion, before it reacts. So it's harder to read the angle. Yes, they have also a distance. This is this. I call it and this is. I don't know how can you use the in source a different piece. Because sometimes, sometimes this can go. So I use what, the what you need to do is you need to, so you, so all you need to do is just experiment. So okay, we roll it in, where does the white ball go? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, that's just with rolling the ball in. You just roll No technique, just push the ball through. Uh -huh. So then, what you should do is then set it up. So set up the same shot. And now we play stop shot technique. Why do you like the scale? Oh, because I don't play draw, I play stop shot technique. When I shot this ball, I, 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 you're scared to scratch it. Yep. Scratch. And, uh, but I know already, for me to scratch this ball in the middle pocket, I know I have to draw the cue ball, or I have to play with less spin. Yeah. If I want to scratch, I have to go lower. I know I have to do that because I know, because my knowledge of the angle. Mm -hmm. So, so I, I know it's going to go there if I play the shot that way. So, so I'm not going to play that way. So if, uh, for example, if I know how can you just catch two or three balls and six balls. So, uh, you know, music. Okay. Music play with me. If this one. He can tell me why it was taking only this space. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, very good. But maybe if I want to call this one, maybe we need this space. Because I don't know who. <laughs> I cannot use the as how much how, how much power I can do that. I don't know. We have to you see? You have to you have to uh, I, I don't use power it's, it's no, you don't use a lot of power. It's not about power, it's about technique, it's about how much you need to draw it. Uh, draw you're not draw, you draw draw is like you I think you say soft, yeah, but it's the same. Uh -huh. You draw uh -huh. to draw the cue ball back and make the cue ball come back to screw the cue ball back. Yeah. But many times this ball. Okay. So what you have to do is you have to practice these shots so that you so that you have more more idea of how hard you need to play it, how much spin you need to play. It. You need to experiment, put this, set the shot up, and play different play the shot in different ways and see where the cue ball goes, and then try to learn from what happens. Uh, what I what I like the music. You can order why was here, here, here. But uh, I, I cannot. If la last of all, I have to call here. So if I call here, maybe the around the table. You know. So you can, yeah. But you have to know how to do it. So, so, so. Okay. Then like this. Many times I shot this ball, you know, white ball. Go there. But I use the source. Maybe I have to touch crossing first. I don't know why. Because I don't know how to do it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 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 Also, when you're playing the shot, if you're playing with one spin or the other, you're aiming very slightly differently. So, uh, this was soft to me, is it? But now, I see, I miss this for many times. That's why I use the full side, like the left spin. The left spin will make the shot more easy, yes. The left spin makes the shot easier. Yeah, because you're playing with the inside spin, which means if you're playing with outside spin, so the right spin makes the shot harder. But I'm so surprised. Sometimes I okay. use the left spin. Maybe yeah. why was it here? Well, it might do, but only because yeah. you might hit the cushion just before the ball. Yeah. You can easily scratch that ball in there. But also, it would be important on how hard you hit it. Yeah, But you see the shot here. If you play the shot with a lot of power, lots of power. Well, I'm going to play first of all. I'm going to play with lots and lots of spin. 
-hmm. I'm also not going to play any top spin, I'm only going to play side spin. Because when I do that, it means that the spin will react more. Uh -huh. And also, the softer you hit it, the more the spin will react. Because mm -hmm. because what happens is the cue ball is in contact with the cushion for longer, mm -hmm. so it gives it chance to react more. So if I hit this very soft, no, I hit it wrong. So I'll tell you why I hit the cushion first. I just hit the cushion first, and that's why I nearly scratched. But if I hit this soft, I should be able to get my cue ball to go there. If I hit soft, let's see. So it reacts more. If I play the same shot. Okay, if, if not, then well, I'll play that. No, we'll leave on, just leave it on the cushion, just this example. If I play the same shot now, and I hit it a lot harder, yeah, the speed doesn't allow the cue ball to react so quickly. Yeah. So it takes longer to, to, for the spin to react, so that's why I don't need to scratch. Uh, yeah. It's the same with this shot here. If you want to draw the shot, if I want to miss it, if I hit this very hard, Mm -hmm. I know I'm going to go close to the scratch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I hit it softer, the, the draw will react more and I'll come more here. Yeah. So people think, I've got to hit it hard so I've got to go a long way. Well actually what you need to do is hit it softer so that it has more time to react from the cushion. So if I play the shot with a lot, a lot softer, it will come much more if I hit it right. Of course you've still got to hit it right. But now I'm... Okay. I've got, I've got, uh, uh, Why you know? Why you know? Why go up here? 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 I know because I've played for 35 years. No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, uh, how I can do? I can know. If why was stay here? Okay, same, same you see. A long time. Yeah. Why not same you? Well, I didn't pot it also. Well then you didn't what okay. you, you, didn't, I, 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 you didn't draw the cue ball. I mean yeah. cue ball. Cue ball the the location does the same. How how you handle uh, this first question and the next question where I go? Uh, because I have no angle to check well, what, the Bible where I go. Yeah, I understand you have no angle to check. But what you have so what you have to do then is you have to do these shots and experiment and see where they go and play them at different speeds, different spin and things like that. And just do it so that you become more familiar with it. But it's very hard to gauge it when the ball, when the object ball is on the cushion like that and you have a big angle. Very, very difficult. Okay. Uh, maybe this is difficult. Maybe this is difficult. Yeah. Call. You want to get a position up here. Yeah. So you have to go around it. Many times I follow that. Yes. But, but now. Follow on, yeah. Follow on, follow. Yeah. Follow on a lot of less things. Okay. So why go into the this one? If angle not same, why do you know this white ball not go inside? Well, that, that's why. That's, 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 that's because I, because <laughs> over years and years of doing it, uh -huh. I know how much speed to play, so it doesn't go in there. I, mean, I know I need to play a lot. Of speed. Yes. If you you play for me, how I can? Yeah, again, you have to just check. check. There's no way to check, it's all about the feel for the shot feel, and, feel. and just knowing it from previous experience and learning from previous experience. But we know it's like it's like you know if you um, you know if you go to that diamond there, mm -hmm. you know it's gonna be very close to this pocket here. Yes, I know. It's the same thing. It's, it's yes, the same yeah, yeah. it's the same principle really, is that I know I know if I have this shot here and I want to play with lots of spin, yeah. I know I'm going to go close to that scratch. So what I do, I know if I play that shot badly, I know it's there, I now know it's there. If my cue ball is here, if my cue ball's here, okay. If my cue ball's here, mm -hmm. I know in my head that I can't get to this cushion first. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. too much spin, I can't get there. So I know I can't play that shot. But I only know from previous experience that Playing that shot and going wrong with me learning from it, thinking, okay, I can't do that. I know if it's like there, I can do it, but I have to make sure that I get lots of spin on it. So I know that now I can't afford to hit it hard because if I hit it hard, yeah. it takes longer for the spin to react. Yeah. So I know I'm going to potentially scratch. 
I also know if I hit it badly, and I hit the rail first, I'm probably going to scratch. So I know it's a risky shot, but I know in my head the technique I need to use to be able to avoid the scratch. I still might scratch because I might not play it correctly. I, might, I, might, I know I have to try to play it correctly, but I still might play it wrong. I still might miss. Yep. You I, only know, I only know that from, doing, from, from my previous experience of learning from this trip. So I know. See if that's there. I know if I put maximum spin on this, I'm probably going to get very, very close to a scratch there. But I hit the rail first, and that's why it went wrong, right? because I didn't play the shot correctly. I know if I play it correctly, and I, get, I know I'm going to go very close to that. So I won't play max time spin, or I won't play, I'll, I'll make this slight adjustment. You check the cutting point, uh, check the cutting point. Yeah, but it's just from my, my, it's just my own previous experience and of knowing what I can do from what certain shot it is. Yeah, so tell me how to play the shot. Yeah, so, so it doesn't that. mean I'm going to play the shot correctly, but I know, I know, I know how to do it. Whether I do it or not, it's a different thing. It's the execution of the shot. So, for me, no, I, I scared the shot this, this one, right? That's a really hard shot. That's a really hard shot. Uh, that, if you want to get a position on that, so, that's so, really hard. But I am, uh, yeah, okay, not hard, right? Well, it's not as hard, because I know if I get people here, I've got a shot. This one, uh, uh, Okay, I, I want to tell you now when I play tournament, not play the with the beam something like that. I I, I only want shot this ball this side. Okay, this is enough for me. Maybe you know. I, I don't want to call 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 that. No, but if you're if you're, play, <laughs> if you're playing and you want to get a position, yeah, with a shot like this, for me instantly I know yeah. I can't go forward. I'm not going to go forward now. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to be going like this. And I'm going to, if I don't if I hit it perfectly, I'll go there and stop there. Yeah, but if the power not enough, it's very bad. Yeah, so I wouldn't even play the shot that way. I'd have to play a shot like the draw there. Yeah, you would yeah. have to I play that, because know. once I get past them in the pocket, I'm now in that position. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. So it's also shot selection. But if you, so if you, if you have to just pop that ball and not get a position, yeah, you're going to pop it. Yeah, if this is one ball, this is two ball, I can do that. If this is a ball, this is nine ball, I can do that. If I miss that, I think. <laughs> just, there you go, you can answer the question. If it's one and two, you can do it. If it's eight and nine, you can't. So that tells me it's in your head. It's all in your head. Okay. I'm going to finish my... I want to show you more drills, but we don't have time, so... Mm. Okay. Well, another drill you can do, okay? Mm -hmm. You put all 15 balls, just put them all over the table. Because I think what's important for you as well is that you just practice your potting. Yeah. So put the 15 balls, just spread them all over the table, okay? And just try to run them out in any order. You can hit other balls, no problem, it doesn't matter. But count how many times you make it, how many misses. So you try to run out all 15 balls, maybe you miss two shots. Then you do it again. It's good practice and it will concentrate you on your potting, which is basic sort of cue ball control, stop shots, little screw shots, follow little things like that. Just run the table out. Okay, I make two mistakes. Next time you make three mistakes. Next time you make one mistake. And just keep doing it, do it, and keep a record. And, and, do it, and it gives you a chance to practice your potting because I think you have quite a good knowledge of what to do on the table. But like you said, sometimes your basic potting, you miss shots you shouldn't miss. Yes. Now this is also to do with in here. You're not, you're not sort of just letting your mind Think of negative thoughts. Well, I, well, I shot. I have, if well, I shot. If I have feeling, I think this is more difficult. But this is for me now. Is, uh, today I play very good. It's so easy. Okay. And every difficult ball I can shot. Yeah. Uh, for sure. Yeah. So I don't know why. Same matter yesterday I played with Martin. Stay here. Why ball go in the pocket many times? Oh, I'm so angry, but I'm not saying like a oh. team. I'm not saying fuck, 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 fuck yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. But only I'm angry myself. I don't know how much. 1,200. Yeah. 200. Yeah. You don't have to see me tomorrow, no problem. No, 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 no. I have okay. this morning. Okay, okay thank you. Thank you. Well, look, try to, try to stay, try to keep being positive. 
try to not let those little negative thoughts come into your mind about, oh, if I, don't, if I miss this, I'm going to play bad. Or, you, you can't think like that. You have to try to... You have to try to forget those little, yeah, well, no, those little not, negative thoughts. You see, now I play tournaments, I, I'm not uh, drinking coffee. I stopped coffee for me years ago. Now I, I, I'm not drunk, I'm not faint. So well, it, everything's okay. Do you okay. think that, do you know, something like that, is it something that you should, you should be concerned, be, be thinking about? Oh, if I drink coffee, I can't play. Uh, do you think that? Yeah. Oh, you also cannot play. If I drink coffee, I can't play? You can't play. Do you play think that? that? Or you drink coffee, you can play. I can play, but but I think sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not good. So now so I, I, in my head, okay, I don't have the sort of problem maybe inside my body like I know you have some problems. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, maybe coffee is not good for you. I don't know. Yes. But if I come to work with a hangover and I have two espressos because I want to get rid of my hangover, and then I play pool, I don't think in my head. Oh, I've had two espressos, so I can't play pool now. It never even enters my head. I never ever think like that. Oh, yesterday I shot nine ball many times. I, I, I check already. When I shot important the ball, I'm not a police. I, I check already. So what's important? That's what I miss. What's important then is that you learn from that. You learn from that and you don't do it again. You learn from it and you remember that you have to breathe. You learn from these little mistakes. Also, what you should do, and if we had more time, I would like to do it. When you play a match on here, even if you play terrible, go back and watch it the next day or the next week and, and try to learn from your mistakes. And try to like analyze your technique and see, okay, the camera's not perfect, it's not gonna see every shot where, or it's not gonna see your body mm -hmm. position every yeah. shot. But just watch that, watch that game with Pipo from yesterday mm -hmm. and see, when you have an important shot, are you staying still? Of course, you don't know if you're breathing and things like that. But it's very important that you you take that into your mind and, and remember it for next time so you don't do it. Because it's very important to breathe. And that might be why you miss some balls if you're holding your breath. Because it creates tension and you're not you're not relaxed. Maybe you're not relaxed because I put you on table nine, I don't know. Oh, oh okay. I, I, I want to ask you the one question. Where are you the short, short anymore? You around the table. You check the how, how, ne next shot how you can do right. And I ask the who oh, Jonas. I think him is a professional the player, right? And uh, he likes the around the table. I ask what you check. Sometimes only nine ball. Why you allow the two two times? Uh, he he tell me say? he tell me where I shot. My my heart is so fast, boom 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 boom. Yeah. That's why he he, he works. Right. Because before I before I, I only think him is professional. Maybe the teacher teaches him every shot you need around the table yeah. check. I, I, I think he's a professional, yeah. not about the the card. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm surprised <laughs> to hear that. So you, you, you when you check around the table, you check the uh, you want for your relax or you really want to check them? I want to check. Want to check, not about because the I'm, because I I want. I, I don't have to consciously make myself relax. Yes, if I'm playing in a big tournament, ah, big tournament. If I'm playing in a big tournament in Bangkok, yes. it's hill hill, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I maybe will take my time a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But normally, I would I would be I would be relaxed. But you know, we all have different things that make us less relaxed. In 2014, I went to play in Qatar uh -huh. in the World Madman. Yeah. I'm, my first match, I've not played any competitive pool tournament like that ever. I've not played competitive snooker for 20 years. Yeah. I'm fucking nervous, I'm shaking like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm, because I, well, after I did, and I played terrible in my first match, but then the second match, I learned from what I was, like, well, relax, you've got to relax. So the second match, I was more relaxed, and I played better, and I won. Then the third match, now I'm more comfortable. These were all on different days, it wasn't like, three games on the same day, one game one day, one game the next, one game the day after. And the third game, I was much more, I didn't win, but I, I didn't miss one ball. I played two, I, I scratched the cue ball twice, I played some guy from Chinese Taipei, I didn't miss one ball, he didn't miss one ball, he beat me 9-7. I can't play much better than that, I made two, two safety errors. But the first day, I played a guy from Japan, and it's like I'm, I'm, it's like I'm a rabbit in the headlights of a car. Like, I'm fucking shitting myself. I'm like, oh my god, what's happening? 
Bom, a Nantes 